This is a five-step tutorial to guide you through setting up extensions, external lines, adding dialing plans, and testing your lines on Axon Virtual PBX from NCH Software. When you run Axon for the first time, the setup wizard will open. On the first page of the wizard, enter the number of extensions you'll be setting up. You can add or remove extensions later if needed. Also on this page, enter your administrator username, password, and email so you can log into the web interface right away. When you click Next, Axon will run a network and web access wizard to check your network connections. It is important that when you are prompted, you allow ports to be opened. You might receive an error with further instructions on how to troubleshoot your networking problems. For problems with a NAT router, you'll most likely need to forward the following ports through your router and firewalls throughout your system. 5060 for SIP, even numbers of 8000 through 8100 for RTP if Axon is recording or relaying audio, and 81 if you need to allow external access to Axon's web interface. See our tutorial series at the address shown on your screen for more information about port forwarding. From the main web interface, click the external dialing link, then click the add new external line button. First, give the line a name. For simplicity, we recommend giving the line the same name as the phone number it is configured for. If you'll be using a VoIP service, you'll need to check the second radio button, Use Gateway Server. If you already have a VoIP provider, enter the server name and your SIP login and password in the provided fields. Then click Save Changes. If you don't have a SIP service provider, see our list of recommended providers at the address shown on your screen. If you'll be using a telephony device or modem to connect to a landline, you will not need to add an external line but you will need to set up your line bridging options from the main interface. After you have enabled line bridging, you can modify your settings from the web interface. More information about line bridging can be found in the help manual. Finally, you should select an extension or group the incoming call will ring on. The default external line is mapped to call group 701, which by default includes extensions 101, 102, and 103. If you want the call to ring at the receptionist desk, or have an automated attendant such as IBM pick up the call instead, select the extension number assigned to the appropriate party. After you have set up your external lines, you'll still be on the external dialing tab. The lower portion of this tab contains the outbound dialing plans. By default, all new extensions are assigned to the default dialing plan. You can create a new dialing plan for cases where you want to limit certain extensions for making long-distance calls, for keeping dedicated lines for inter-office calls for use with Axon Agent, and for other line and extension management. Click the default plan to look at its configuration. This takes you to the Outbound Dialing Plan property screen. There are some default dialing rules already set up. The Carousel FXO Gateway rule is for use with line bridging and its settings should be fine to use as is if you're using line bridging. Click the default rule assigned to number 9. This shows that when a number is dialed with a 9 at the beginning, this plan will be applied to the call, and that one number, the 9, will be stripped from the number when the call is made. In the Dial on Line menu, select the external line that this plan will dial out on. The Prepend field is useful for adding extra digits to the beginning of a number to save time, for example, adding a country's code if international calls are made frequently. If any extensions should be excluded from this plan, select them from the extensions list. On this default plan, excluding extensions would prevent outbound calls from being made on that extension. You're now ready to set up extension properties. To do this, click on the Extensions and Groups tab. At the top under User Extensions, you'll see a list of all user extensions you asked Axon to set up. To configure user extensions, click on an Extensions Edit button. You can configure options such as allowing an extensions user access to the Axon web interface, assigning an extension to an outbound dialing plan, setting up their voicemail or call forwarding properties, or call recording. 
For users setting up IVM as the external voicemail, note that if Axon is set up first, IVM's wizard will configure Axon's voicemail settings automatically. The setup details of an extension show the information you will need for setting up an IP phone, if needed. Back on the Extensions and Groups tab, the next section is Reserved Extensions. These extensions are reserved for lines that will handle voicemail, on hold recordings, the call attendant, and more. Generally, the programs that use these extensions will configure themselves, so you won't need to view or change these except to check the status of one of these lines. When a status shows for any service, it means it has registered as online within the past hour. The last section on the Extensions and Groups tab is the Group Extension section, where you can direct incoming calls to a group of extensions rather than just one. Group extensions can be useful in a customer service scenario where calls should be answered as quickly as possible, or in a sales scenario where salespeople take turn answering calls. Click the Add New Group or Q button to set up a new group. You can designate an on-hold message that callers hear until their call is picked up, and specify how calls ring to the group, whether all at the same time, staggered from extension to extension, or on a round-robin cycle. Once you have completed the steps outlined here, you can begin testing your setup. Try making a call from one extension to another. Then try making an outbound call and an inbound call, making sure to test the quality of the audio over the line for each scenario. If you experience difficulties, please visit the Axon Technical Support page for frequently asked questions at the address shown on your screen. You can also view more telephony software and business software at these addresses. Thank you for choosing NCH Software.